Okay, so we've got a question here. You can ask me questions on Tumblr. Go to Ask Durnod on Tumblr. Ask me questions and they answer a lot of questions on Tumblr. Let me put my thinking hat on. Um, so we have a question here. I lost my virginity. I lost my virginity at 20. I gave my virginity to my boyfriend and we broke up today. Uh, so here we've got a question. Uh, my boyfriend and I have broken up today. I feel so sad because he was perfect. He became vegan after I told him about it and we shared so much in common. But he has been so busy with school and two jobs. I was feeling a negative vibe towards him because he has been stressed and forgot to have an attitude of gratitude. However, I was feeling negative too throughout some of the cases of the relationship because I told him that I feel distant and not good enough. Down about myself, like comparing myself to his ex. The reason was because he compared me to his ex about her waiting for sex while we just did it in a month of the relationship. He said he would probably have been different if we waited, but he doesn't seem to appreciate that I gave him my virginity after 25 years of waiting. <laughs> He's 22, by the way. Look, now I'm laughing, not because I think this person's whatever. I'm just laughing at how much people care about stuff so much and how everyone has different rules. I mean, this person waited a month before having sex with their partner. I mean, boom, I've hooked up with chicks in the first, I've hooked up with chicks in the first hour. So this person's waited a month, but their boyfriend still judged them for putting out too soon. You know what I mean? I've been with chicks like an hour. I mean, it helps if you've got YouTube celebrity status, but let's, I mean, like, I don't even know. I've used game with girls who didn't know who it was an hour, two hours maybe. You know, so, and I didn't judge him. Didn't judge him. So this guy, there's a lot of things going on here. Right? Uh, first of all, he's just not into you. He's just not in, that into you anymore. He's got other things going on in his life. He's got other priorities. You're not his number one priority. If you were, he wouldn't use that bullshit excuse. Oh, you, no, no. He's just not that into you. Okay? I'm not sure if that hurts to hear that or whatever, but it's just 100%. A guy using that sort of excuse, he's just not that into you. Simple as that. Now, it doesn't mean he's a bad person. It doesn't mean you've wasted your time. It doesn't mean anything, really. What it does mean is you know where you stand now. And that's power, that's clarity, all right? That's clarity. When a guy uses excuses like that, he just ain't into you. And that is, if anything, you should shake his hand. You should thank him, because you no longer will you waste time excessively investing into a relationship that's going nowhere, that's reached, that's used by points, okay? So that's power there. So don't feel distraught, don't feel brokenhearted, don't be resentful, don't be one of these crazy ex-girlfriends or ex-boyfriends or whatever, you know? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Don't go crazy. Just go, okay, cool. Let's be friends. You know, being friends with the ex is a powerful thing to be. Powerful, good thing to do. It's less stress for everyone. And in this highly stressful world where we attach crazy meaning to things that don't even really mean much at all, it's better if we can be friends with people, get on with people. We don't have to live with them. We don't have to fuck them. We don't have to kiss them. We don't have to give them money. It doesn't take what? This, we just get on with people. We can agree to disagree and be agreeable. So, um, don't feel so sad. He wasn't perfect. Maybe he was perfect. He, you even said it. He was perfect. He was perfect. All right? Just like little dog face. The zip was perfect, but I had to fix it. You can't fix people. You know what I mean? You can't fix people. You can fix zips on little dog face, but some people, once they break, they break. And it's not really your job anymore to fix them, is it? I mean, it can be. You can be Captain Saber Ho. You can be queen, save a broken man. But really, if you want to do that, then choose that route. But uh, I would rather be with people who want to be with you and people who want to be fixed and want to fix themselves first before they get in a relationship versus become baggage or needy or drain bros, etc. So he was perfect. He no longer is and he's no longer into you. I'll say that a few times in this video. He's just not that into you. He's no longer into you. For whatever reasons, maybe he's gay now. Maybe he's coming out of the closet and he's like, how do I get rid of this girl? What do I do? All right, let's make her feel bad about herself. You know, There's so many reasons it's not about you. Even though someone's not into you, it's not just about you. A lot of things in their head. They think, they're maybe thinking, you know, I, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. I want to focus on my work. I want to focus on my career, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe he's still not over his ex. Maybe he wants to be with his ex and he, you were just like a rebound girl. And now he's resenting that. He's, oh, he's just, he's... How old is he? He's 22, man. He's 22. He's, man, if I look back when I was 22, 
fucking hell, I was such a noob. I was such a noob. So, yeah, he's 22. All right, fuck. So don't expect too much from someone who's 22 because they don't have much life experience in relationships. How can you when you're 22? You haven't had a 10-year relationship, living relationship, or a 20-year or 40-year. So don't expect too much of someone, you know? So just don't be sad. Don't be sad. Be happy that you're alive. Be happy that you've had the experience of a relationship. And a relationship that sounded like was pretty average, you know, pretty cool at one point. Don't be sad, you know? Just be in the moment. Be in the moment. Don't be in the past. Think of all the good times and go, oh my God, I don't have to you don't, you don't lose anything in life. Memories last forever. And you can replay them anytime you want. You can even get a little voodoo doll and stab people. So don't be sad. Don't be tragic. Be magic. And be glad that you have a learning experience under your belt. That if some guy says, judges you for putting out in the first month, <laughs> then he's just not that into you, man. He's just not that into you. And I hooked up with Freely, it was like the first night, pretty much. I stayed over a place. So it's not, um, you know, and I share my stories. I share my stories, not because of whatever reason people think. I share my stories because I want to show people where my qualifications come from. It's not because I read some relationship book. I mean, I've read a stack, but I like to share my real life relationship stories. You know, I've had, I've had girlfriends and we hooked up the first night. And it's no, no worries. I don't go, oh my God, this chick was easy. I don't think that at all. If a guy thinks like that, he's a fucking hypocrite. And he's beta. And he's noob. You know what I mean? He's <laughs> and he's just not into you. If he's thinking that. It's, it's like, oh, it's just like if I get a bicycle, right? And I buy it. And then a month later, I ride the bike. Fuck no, man. I want a test ride and then decide. That's why people should hook up before they get in a serious relationship. Because they might all be sexually compatible. If you're not sexually compatible and you're in a long-term relationship, in my opinion, or my experience, in my preferences, that ain't going to work. So test ride, then decide. That could be the first hour, the first month. That, that's a lot of time invested. I wouldn't wait that long. If I'm thinking of relationship material, I want to test ride straight away. I want to see if that bike works for my style of riding, if you know what I mean. And if it doesn't, let someone else have it. Let someone else have it. Don't be sad that that bike didn't work. Someone else will enjoy it, okay? There's plenty of bikes out there. Do some riding <laughs> so you know what you like. Um, I know women work differently to men like that, but still, uh, what's the same relationship? Um, he came into his ex, blah, 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 blah. Again, he was using that as a potential guilt for whatever, whatever, whatever his motivations were. End of the fucking day. End of the day. He just wasn't that into you. And it's not because you're a bad person. It's not because you don't look like this or don't have this sort of... No, no, no. It's just about him. And he just wasn't that into you for many, many reasons. All right? So don't become a validation chaser. You know? So, so many women, they got rejected by their dad or guys got rejected by their mum. And then they get rejected by a girlfriend or a boyfriend. And that triggers them. They feel hurt by that. Like, oh my God, like, I got rejected by a man. I got rejected by a woman. And they become a validation chaser. So don't be one of those people. You know, seek self-validation, not validation from your mom or your dad or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife or your boyfriend. Seek validation from self. And when you have that, that's when you get a lot of freedom. And then you have freedom from outcome. I have to be in a relationship. It has to be this way. It has to, no, no, no. Have less rules of what it takes to be happy. Have less rules in your relationship. Have rules for yourself that are... One, I have to wake up today. Two, I have to have an attitude of gratitude. Three, I have to put good food into my body. Four, I have to get enough sleep. Just focus on those sort of rules, okay? And when you have rules for how other people should behave, that's when you're going to get a little pain and hurt. When you start to have better rules for yourself and you, you know, you're you manifesting excellence within yourself and you start manifesting those sort of people around you and you have less relationships where you have to try and change someone into something else because boom, that they won't even approach you unless they feel that they're sort of on the same caliber as you for what at various levels. Anyway, I'm rambling on a bit. He just wasn't into you, and that's fine. Life goes on. The sun's going to come up tomorrow. The sun's going to set today. This is how it works. So don't be too, don't be at all down. Just be grateful for the human experience of being in a relationship. Didn't work out. It used by date came. He just wasn't that into you. 
get over it. Don't be resentful. Don't be angry. Don't be sad. Don't be depressed. Be grateful and move on. Done. And if you can, still be friends. Be mature. 